Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys? My name is Abimala Creek. I am a YouTuber, I am an actress, a producer, a lawyer, I'm a bunch of things, and I live in Lagos, Nigeria. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. How are you doing? What's going on? Subscribe, please. Thank you. So, obviously, I had a shoot today, I had makeup done, and I said, you know what? As my typical self, I'm not just gonna let this makeup waste no 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 i'm gonna come home sit down and have a conversation with you guys so i'd gone on youtube and i was like okay maybe i should do youtube live then i was like no let me do instagram live so i went to instagram live and i was like okay guys what should i talk about because i had a bunch of stuff i wanted to talk about but then i was like i don't really know what to say jerry and i'm actually quite tired but i said you know what i'm gonna come on here and i will have something to say and then the people on my instagram live obviously gave me some juices so I said, you know, that's what I'm going to talk about. So first of all, shout out to Artistry by Tolani for this beautiful makeup. Shout out to Hair by Julie for this hair. People keep asking me from the show and just even on my Instagram page where I get my wigs from. I get my wigs from Hickey's hair or from Hair by the Julie. Yes. Bimbala Pepe Rimpe. First of all, shout out to my Pepe Rimpe's. If you're not one of them, I can't help you out. So when I was in the States for Christmas and I went to YouTube Live, um, a bunch of us came up a bunch of you lots actually came up and were like oh I mean, we want to call ourselves something and so we're not coming up with different names so they were coming up with different names and i was like guys come on eventually they chose the pimpy rimpies so i'm gonna take a second to acknowledge and give a shout out to all my pimpy rimpies out there thank you guys so much for the love for the support for just being so nice and accepting of me i know i can be quite a yana and so that you're that you be oh god one day i'm gonna do an entire youtube video Pigeon English, you understand me? I mean, I schooled in the abroad, just in case. But man, I've lived in Nigeria for a while now. English sometimes they hard. Thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support. I truly appreciate it. It does not go unnoticed. It does not go not appreciated. Thank you guys so much. So today, we are going to be talking about a bunch of stuff. And um, what triggered it was a conversation I had with someone the other day. And I'm trying to open up my phone <laughs> to see what it is. Okay, so. Pretty much it's about checking your partner's phone, male or female. And then the second part of it is also talking about, you know, what to do when your partner has a password on his or her phone. And um, yeah, a bunch of people have been sending messages about this and you're like, well, what do I think about it? And as usual, every opinion and everything I say here is my opinion and my thoughts based off of, you know, my present situation, what I've seen, what I've learned. And that's where that is. When it comes to checking your partner's phone, for me it's a no. Matter of fact, it's not a no. <laughs> Hold on, let me get comfortable. Let me get up in there with you guys. It's a hell no. Simply because of the fact that if you go poking at a beer, a, sip, a sleeping beer, the beer doesn't even have to be sleeping. The beer can be awake. The beer is walking in the wood on its own. If you go and poke at him, guess what? It's going to, you know, poke back. There's no point to it. I, I, I don't see what it does. Some people say, oh, for validation or for confirmation. It's a lie. If you go looking for something, guess what? You finna find it. If you go and look for something, you are going to find it. It goes without saying. Because when you search, and even if you don't see anything, you're not convinced. So you search deeper. You're still not convinced. So you search deeper, deeper, deeper. But I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to tell you that I would rather you don't because it's a serious mind and there's no point to it but i'm also here to shed light on the fact that apart if you do there are certain things you might need to do to be sure that you find what exactly it is that you're looking for so we start with the fact that you should not first of all you should not first of all because it's just an invasion of privacy to be honest with you i keep saying if you're dating someone that if you're dating someone or you're in a relationship with someone and you get to a point where you feel like you cannot ask the person honest certain questions then what are you doing with the person you cannot express how you're feeling genuinely with the person without feeling like the person is going to say oh this one is yarning again this one is nagging again this one is complaining again then what are you doing with the person so if you are dating someone and you get to a point where you start to feel like 
this person might be doing something might be stepping out on you might be you know exploring other options and you cannot wholeheartedly walk up to the person and say hey bimbo um i've just noticed you've been a bit distant and i don't know what's going on i've tried to just place on the fact that maybe you work maybe you're a bit stressed out maybe you know one or two things is happening but you are not also being forthcoming is there anything going on are you tired of this relationship is there someone else you're talking to is there anything we need to do to get us back on track if the person who is now not being forthcoming you now decide whether you don't want to break it off or you want to take a break and that goes even if it's in your marriage when i mean obviously in your marriage that's a different situation you're not breaking it off you're not you're not going on a break i'm talking about people dating right now before we now get into those that are married remember also it's my opinion the fact that i always have to keep saying this says the kind of times that we're in but i also acknowledge the times we're in so i'm just saying again if you're dating yeah so if you're dating the person you know based on the person's reaction you're not decide whether we this is the time when i just say okay you know what Kune, you're acting a bit off try to have a conversation with you i think it's just time maybe we just take a break and give him time and if in those times he decides that he wants to go ahead with the other person okay if the person doesn't but my point is speak because if i'm tired of a relationship i should be able to tell the person i'm with i really appreciate you i care a lot for you i know you've been there for me all the time and all this good stuff but it's not working or i'm feeling some type of way i'm feeling like we're not connecting i'm feeling like we may want to start dating other people talk about things it's when you don't talk about all these things that just complicates life there's nothing wrong if you're dating someone right now and you get tired the person will appreciate the fact that you tell them that you're tired they will not ask you okay is there a way which we can try and see how we can come back to where we were before or the person too will say ah as you said it first i'm also tired you put either or these breakups or breakups can always be amicable if people just act mature and grown up but i guess it's always easier said than done but my point is you should be able to tell the person how you're feeling or say you're suspecting or saying you're being suspicious if the person is grown enough i mean that's on you so you can only do your own part it's not left to the person to act grown enough to not be able to tell you okay yes i'm actually stepping out on you or yes i'm feeling this type of way but then if the person is not forthcoming I would rather just pack my bag and leave if I'm dating you. Than for me to now start getting paranoid. I go para to the point where I know to think. To the point where we are sleeping at times. I'm just looking at you and thinking, oh my god, is this boy cheating on me? Every time you leave your phone, it's entry my impetus. or something I'm like, oh god, I should check your phone. And then I now belittle myself and carry the phone and check. And the funny part with checking is that, like I said before, once you check, if you don't say anything, you're not convinced. Because you've already answered that suspicion by picking up that phone and opening it so you will not be convinced until you find something and when you look you will find if i'm asking you and you can't tell me then i'm going to give you a break i'm going to leave you alone if you think we're worth fighting for then you fight if you think we're not then everybody will be okay last last you know it's 2019 you should be able to own your own source and believe in your own source to know that you're a good person and you can do better you yeah, with someone and you're expressing daily, daily in and out how you're feeling. You're there for the person, you're treating the person right, and the person is treating you like crap. It's not worth your time, man. Carry your bag, move on. There's love, oh. there's love. So you will find another. Now, if you are now married to someone and you are feeling some type of way and you talk to the person, because we know that both men and women can be difficult, and the person is not being upfront about things. There's only one thing I tell my married friends when they're going through this kind of thing. Take it to the Lord in prayer. If you are Muslim, pray about it. If you say that you are none of the above, I wonder why you are not. Speak to someone. But my point is, if you check that phone, you are going to find out. Who minds intuition? It doesn't lie to you. You are going to find something. And when you find something and you are not married, what do you do? That's when you now decide what your threshold is and what you can take and what you can't take. That's when people now start weighing options down. Is it cheating? If it cheats, it's cheating. It's cheating a, a deal breaker for me. Can I not? Okay. But then, okay, you now start justifying things. There are different levels of cheating. There's emotional cheating. There's physical cheating. What kind of cheating is it doing? If you just texting someone, okay, maybe I can. Either or at that point in time is where you realize. <laughs> hey. That even though you just found out that this man is cheating, your husband. And you are the woman who has now been hurt. You can't just para. You cannot just go and say, What the hell you're doing here? I checked your phone now because now the tables now flip and it now becomes about you and why you invaded his privacy and why you checked his phone and who gave you that right. And the fact that if you went looking, you definitely knew you were going to find something. And why would you do that? And then everybody that hears the story now, why would you why give yourself that stress? Why? Why? Pray. Pray. 
don't even talk to your friends about it. There's no need. Pray. If you're having a man that at least is a bit, you know, fears God, you talk to him. Babe, I'm feeling some type of way. There are a few things I've been noticing. What is going on? What can we do? Do we need to see the pastor? Do we need to pray about it? Should we call your mom to talk to us? Do we need advice on something? We just openly ask him, is there something going on? Are you cheating on me? I've had friends that ask their husbands. And the, the, the authority in which they asked him feared the man that he had no choice. He said it. He said, I am and I'm sorry. And she looked at him. And I think for, for a while, I mean, she showed him pepper. And she did not leave her husband's house. Nobody knew about it. Only a few of us. Today, they're happy. I'm not saying every situation is the same. But all I'm trying to say is that when it comes to marriage, you need to handle things with tact. You need to, you know, use wisdom. And the ultimate wisdom can only come from God. Your phone is your phone. Give me your password. Thank you very much for your password. You too, you can have my password. The fact that someone gives you a key doesn't always mean that you should open the door. You know that. Don't mean that you should always use it. Because once you use it, ah, trust me, or abuse. And then if you now check it, and then he catches you check it, checking it, and then there's now nothing inside. Or you catch him checking it, and there's nothing inside. Either way, it now becomes an issue as well. So why bother? Don't so. I mean, I don't believe in it. I'd rather have God to give me peace of mind. Anybody I'm dating, if I'm not having peace of mind, the person is not for me. If I'm married to you, I'm not having peace of mind. I'm taking you to God in prayer. Because for us to have gotten to this point of marriage, it means that God gave me sign that you are the one for me. So nobody's going to come and take my husband for me. No, 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 no. Me and you, we are going into war room. I'm going to take it to the Lord in prayer. We're going to pray. We're going to cast out that she devil or that he devil from wherever she or he is coming from. But I advise you never to check a person's phone. Don't check your partner's phone. It's nothing. If you are already feeling some type of way, then most likely something is happening. It's not left for you to decide what decision you want to take. But don't. It brings nothing but heartbreak. The other day in the office, shout out to Mo Cheddar because she's an amazing person. Her spirit is just ugh. So she came the other day to the office and um, we were talking and she was talking about, you know, it's going to be on one of our shows on Indani, so you check it. My phone just wanted Thank Thankfully, I remember what I'm about to say. And she was talking about, you know, there was one time, because they asked that question, have you ever checked your partner's phone before? And she said, yes, she has. And that, that day was such a funny thing, and it was a terrible thing at the same time, because she felt bad. She said that day, she had, she was checking his phone, and he had caught her. And when he caught her, he looked at her, and he said, and she was about to drop the phone. I said, no, 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 ah, drop phone. Why are you did drop phone? She, you have started checking. You we check and we find something today. He sat down with that there. She checked the whole phone, she didn't find anything. Now she's lucky because she didn't see anything. But my point is, imagine if she had what would she have done? Those are questions that she can't answer now because thankfully she didn't say anything. But those are questions I put to you. When you check, what would you do? But the other side of things is that when you now choose to check and nobody catches you, here are the things that Mo said you should check for. Quickly, so that you can get to where you're going to. And the point that she said you should use to be able to clean your tracks when you are checked. This is ridiculous, but I'm going to say it anyways because I'm going to give you guys two sides to things. So most of the time, when she used, when you used to check, when you check your man's phone or your, you know, your girl's phone, don't be checking for things like names and. Mm -mm. She said you go straight to search on the phone. In search, you type in keywords: love, baby. When are we seen? Are you home? When are you coming? Those are the words you type into search. And those are the words that will bring forth the things that you are looking for. She also said, if you don't want to stop there, at first you want to check where you think you have addiction to porn or you have addiction to something. You go on the interweb, check his search engine of previous sites he has visited. Or even when you're going through his phone and you're, for example, iPhones, right? You're going through his phone and you're checking his WhatsApp, you're checking stuff. Always make sure that after you check it, you close the app. Because apparently, the young men of today, when they are handling their phones, they always close apps. They close apps, they delete messages, messi eh? they close apps, they delete messages, they delete texts and stuff like that. So the truth is, if you check their phone, they most likely always know when you have. So if you're a woman and you always checking your man's phone and you think, oh, you don't know, it's a lie. You know. So if you open WhatsApp, if you open uh, Instagram, if you open Snapchat, if you open whatever app you open, make sure you close the app to make sure you cover your tracks. 
but if i'm giving you guys all these points and keys are you saying that it's more stress checking than it is not checking at all be honest with yourself you wait for when he's sleeping or you will check and wait that when he has gone to the toilet or that he forgot the phone in his house or in the house or that any opportunity to just see the phone you not be gauging time gauging time all that energy you're using to be monitoring you can be using it to be praying you can be using it to be finding better ways to satisfy yourself and demand to making yourself happy even if it has nothing to do with him just find things to fill your life find things to find fulfillment within yourself with not just in whether he loves me whether he's cheating on me or not find things to distract yourself with he said you're spending time waiting calculating has it gone now okay let's quickly go let me take the phone you're not be doing james bond you're not carrying the phone that's spend time again okay what am i going to check for what am i going to check for? okay type in love type in baby when are we saying when are you coming home are you home have you eaten what time is it how soon are you coming too much energy okay let's say you don't find anything go you now open up you open up you forget to close up uncle will not come or auntie will not come why were you opening my phone? Why are you going through my phone? Why didn't you go through your phone, babe? But you did. Who opened this? Who opened that? Now start fights that could have been avoided. For me personally, it's not worth it. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's not worth it. It's not. Don't do it to yourself. Don't don't for me it devalues me or as a person. If I do this kind of thing, it devalues me. Why am I with you then? If I'm already guessing, if I'm already second guessing, if I'm already... Because you start to feel small, you start to question yourself. What are you doing that is not enough? For me, it's too much grief. It's not worth it. I'm not going to be with someone and constantly I'm guessing what they're doing or trying to guess what they're doing. And every time I'm trying to, it makes me feel less of a person. It makes me feel undervalued. It makes me... That's too much work. Relationships should be seamless. Now, like, like I said, I did say it's easier said than done, but ultimately it should be seamless. We complicate things for ourselves when we start to add all these add-ons. You know, all these add-ons, all these thoughts, all this negativity, fitting into what society thinks, fitting into the fact that society has already bashed men, society has already bashed women. And then you start to bring all what society has said into your relationship. When you know this man and you know this woman, and between, between yourselves, you can establish what you people want what values you want to set how you people understand yourselves and be like you know what f society f what the world has said about men f what the world has said about relationships f what the world has said about marriage ours is going to be different because we're going to make it work on our terms come on guys it's possible it's possible because i've seen people do it so I keep licking my lip. My lip literally feels dry. You know when the upper palate of your lip feels like I said when you've had lip gloss all day and you've been talking. It's not every time you're in a relationship they're constantly going to feel calm. Let's be honest. It's not every time you're in a relationship either. They're going to constantly feel 100%. But if every time those doubts come in and those naysayers come in, then ask questions. Babe, I heard this. I'm feeling this. Someone said this. Is it true? There's nothing wrong with asking. But also, you two, you know that you don't ask every time. Because sometimes if you ask, you get the answer you're looking for. And like I said, as women, I'm not, I'm not even talking about men now. As women, we're very intuitive. So if you're feeling it, it means it most likely is happening. So now the question is now left to you. The ball is legit in your court. What are you willing to do? What are you going to do? Now what you're going to do is left to you. Me, I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm not here to tell you leave him, don't leave him, don't. Everybody's grown. Just realize that as you lay your bed, so you're gonna lie in it. So that's all I gotta say, man. Don't do it. It never ends right. It's just never pretty. Someone's gonna cry. Someone's gonna feel some type of way. And it's just not gonna be nice. <laughs> that's just so much emotion you're gonna to have to deal with and then the worst part is that when you now find out if we're being honest with ourselves men and women half of you don't end up even living the relationship so what's the point to it you're not gonna do anything so why are you gonna stress yourself listen to me what's for me who me that i'm just trying to come up close to my makeup don't do it so with these few points of mind, I hope I've been able to convince you and not to confuse you that looking through your partner's phone is always a dead end and it's not advisable. Just don't do it. Alright guys, I'm gonna see you guys later. Stay blessed, stay happy, please subscribe, please subscribe. See you guys.
soon. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Still rolling. Well, bye, guys. You know we gotta keep it moving on. I took them all the time, so I never ever wife I never ever wife I've been if I'm my only one, but man, you girl be moving trifling. You girl be moving trifling. I'm a you nobody, me, you baby. I can never ever let no baby.